I want to mention quickly three things we must never lose as we live this life. Don't lose your faith in God. No matter what you are doing, whether in abundance or in luck, don't lose your faith. Number two, don't lose your family. Don't lose your family. God has blessed you with a family. With a husband, with a wife, with children. Keep your family as a treasure. Do everything it takes to make sure your family is well. To make sure there's laughter in your house. To make sure there's communication in your house. To make sure there's dancing in your house. To make sure there's food in your house. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't lose your family. A man without a family is a lonely man. A, a woman without a family is abused. Let's guard the family. The enemy is rising to destroy the family. Let's guard the family. Let's be on the guard. Let's have watchmen, husbands who are watchmen. Let nothing come in, creep in, and destroy your family. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Go back. Bridge those gaps. Mend those patches. Reach out in humility to each other. Respect and honor that woman, that wife God has given you. Don't be the king. I tend to be a little hard on the man because I'm a man. Don't let that ego destroy your life. Be a humble man, a servant of your family. Who is able to say, Mommy, forgive me? I was wrong. Some men, even when they're wrong, they don't want to accept that they're wrong. Simply because you are a man, God will not answer your prayers. Number three, as you sojourn in this life, don't lose your friends. <laughs> Don't lose your friends. God will bring good people in your life. Keep them. Those who leave, they were not meant to be. But keep your friends. Keep your friends. Use your wealth to create some more friends. Use your wealth to create more friends. Scatter your seeds abroad. I'll give you an example of a friend of mine. There's a little boy in my village. He does not talk, he's deaf and dumb. Is my friend. Every time he sees me, he runs. He runs to give me a hug. He's dirty, he's dusty. He gives me a hug. 
is my friend. I don't want to tell you what happens between the two of us and what we have done to cultivate that friendship. Keep your friends because you never know that time when you will need one. One of the friends you are going to need is Jesus. You're going to need him. He's a friend. 